Hello kids. Today we are going to see 7th class science 10th lesson nutrition in plants. Question answers. Let's start. Improve your learning. First question. A potted plant is kept in light for a day and one of its leaves is tested for starch. The same plant is kept in the dark for two days and another leaf is tested for starch. Will there be a difference in the results of the two experiments? Give reasons for your answer. Answer: The leaves of the plant kept in light for a day are tested for starch. In the test, it is found that the leaves contain starch. The leaf of the same plant when kept in dark for two days is tested for starch. In the test, it is found that the leaf does not contain starch. Leaves of plant in the presence of sunlight prepare glucose. This glucose is then converted into starch. In the absence of light, plants cannot prepare glucose and then starch. Next second question. What happens if leaves of a green plant are coated with oil? And what will be the effect on stomata? If leaves of a green plant are coated with oil, the pores of the stomata which are useful for the exchange of gases from the atmosphere are covered with oil. When the pores of the leaves are thus covered by oil, the leaves fail to carry out photosynthesis. The plant therefore cannot prepare its own food through leaves. Third one. Do you think saprophytes help us in keeping the environment clean? Hint. What do saprophytes feed on? Answer. Saprophytes feed on dead and decaying organ organisms. So, they help in keeping the environment clean. Next fourth one. Differentiate between following with some examples. Parasite and saprophyte. Host and parasite. Parasite, saprophyte. A parasite takes food from the organisms on which it lives. Saprophyte, this secrete digestive juice on the matter they live and convert it into a solution and then absorb, absorb it. Parasite, they feed on a living organisms. Saprophyte, they feed on dead and decaying organisms. Parasite, the organism on which it feeds is called host. Saprophyte, they do not feed on living organisms. Next, host and parasite. Under host, they prepare the nutrition. Under parasite, they get nutrition from the host. These plants produce their foods. It takes food from the plant on which it is climbing. The leaves of these plants will have chlorophyll. These have no leaves and chlorophyll. Next fifth one. Fill in the blanks and give reasons. First one. Lenticels are present on dash in plants. Where are lenticels? Lenticels are present. Bark. The exchange of gases takes place in the stem through these lenticels. The food synthesized by the plants is stored as starch. B. Starch. Starch is formed by combining carbon dioxide, water and light. Saprophytes depend on dash for food. Dead and decaying matter. These types of plants do not contain chlorophyll. So they simply absorb organic material from decaying matter. Sixth one, name the following. Pores through which leaves exchange gases. 
stomata are the pores through which leaves exchange gases plants that act as scavenger of nature saprophytes are the plants that act as scavenger of nature those plants that share food and shelter host plants are those plants that share food and shelter plants which cannot make their own food and obtain it from host parasitic and plants are the plants which cannot make their own food and obtain it from the host next seventh one a cascuta is an example of autotroph parasite saprophyte symbiont it is an example of parasite next hostoria are roots stems leaves all of them these are nothing but roots raw materials involved in the process of photosynthesis carbon dioxide water sunlight all of them so in photosynthesis carbon dioxide water sunlight all are included okay or all, all are involved so all of them fourth one next circle the insectivorous plant among the plants given below a hibiscus b teak c nepenthes d aloe vera answer is insectivorous plant is nepenthes okay ninth one collect information about experiments of joseph priestley and ingenhoes from internet and make a brief note on them okay these you can collect from internet or here also i'm giving some points if you want you can write these also a that is about joseph priestley it was priestley who carried out a sequence of experiments he could demonstrate that what animals were doing to the air was being reversed by plants that is according to him if animals were making the air impure plants were making it pure next b Ingenhoes tried to repeat Priestley's experiments under different conditions and found that only the green parts of plants when exposed to sunlight could do that. Several scientists started working on what green plants were doing with water and air and sunlight and till date we know that green parts of plants use carbon dioxide in the presence of sunlight as well as other sources of light along with water to make glucose starch and other food materials this process of making food materials is called a photosynthesis and such plants are called autotrophs 10th one do you agree with von helmont if nutrients absorbed by plants from soil is equal to the mass of plant or tree what will happen think and write your hypothesis we agree with von helmont if nutrients absorbed by plants from soil is equal to the mass of the plant by now all the nutrients in the soil might have exhausted plants are oxygen factories providing enough oxygen in the atmosphere for living organisms to survive plants prepare their own food and for others by the process of photosynthesis making use of sunlight 11th one why are some plants called insectivorous plants give reasons some plants not only manufacture their own food but also obtain a part of their nutrition's nutrition from insects Leaves of these plants are specially modified to trap insects. These plants grow in areas deficient in nitrogen. 
hence they meet their nitrogen requirements from insects so they are called insectivorous plants next 12th one designery leaves select any board leaved potted plant broad leaved potted plant cut a cardboard with the design of your choice and seal the selected leaf with the cardboard let the plant stand under the sun for a week then remove the cardboard you will get designery leaves plant try to make more leaves with designs and display your plant but don't forget to present your write up so this is you have to do by yourself okay next one collect a thick leaf take peels from both sides of the leaf and observe stomata size shape and number under microscope with the help of your class teacher write your findings either surfaces of the thick leaf is surrounded by thin layer of epidermis which shows small tiny pores called as stomata more number of stomata observed on ventral surface and little number of stomata observed on dorsal surface the shape is similar but the coloration is thick towards dorsal and thin towards ventral surface it means more number of chloroplasts present at dorsal and little number of number towards ventral size of stomata is same and no differentiation next 14th one pratima said mushroom is also a plant is she correct how would you support her pratima is correct mushroom is a plant mushrooms grow on rooting wood rotting wood during the rainy season mushrooms are not like green plants as they lack chlorophyll they cannot make food by photosynthesis they are saprotrophs next 15 one photosynthesis is the way plants make food in every leaf by using different items write your feelings on this plants make use of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll to prepare their food and release oxygen really it is a great thing the plants are otherwise called oxygen factories we owe a lot to the plant kingdom for many reasons they provide us food and shelter they provide produce oxygen which is very important for all of us okay by this we completed this lesson question answers in next video we'll see the other question answers till then bye kids have a nice day